bear in mind we aren't limited to just using the internet as a source of inspiration. Other sources of inspiration might include magazines, taking snippets from them with scissors, television adverts, taking screenshots with a camera, products, ones you own or ones you see whilst out shopping, outside, including shop fronts, posters, billboards and other advertisements. Make sure that you be aware because inspiration can come from the most unusual of places. Things to look out for include appealing symbols, suitable and attractive colours, eye-catching textiles and attractive literal objects. As an example here is a surf magazine that I purchased to help me with the forthcoming project. I used a pair of scissors to cut out certain inspirational pieces including photographs of surfers and logo styles of companies who are advertising in the magazine. With these snippets I then went on to put together a collage on a pin board. So this basically served as something similar to the mood board but this is a physical thing that I keep in my office to reference as I work. So the pin board also can help considerably during the mind mapping process.